country still fighting a war sees help and hope in Arizona. Thanks for joining us for 13 News Live at 6. I'm Brooke Wagner. And I'm Dan Maris. Ukrainian industry leaders are in Tucson seeing how a local company can help rebuild the country even as they battle the still rage against invading Russian forces. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace explains how for the University of Arizona, the relationship is growing stronger. Ukrainians focus not just on winning the war, but rebuilding their country are in Tucson seeking assistance in a variety of fields. Uh, Arizona has a potential to help Ukraine to win a war. Sergei Demidenko, CEO of Rebuild Ukraine Synergy, speaking through his translator, says he sees Arizona as part of Ukraine's future, even as it continues to fight a war with Russia. Ukrainian pilots train here, and the country depends on defense technology from Raytheon. The country has a relationship here that goes back to the late Senator John McCain. John McCain lived in Arizona, and he was a big friend of Ukraine. They told us, yes, you know, we're interested in procuring immediate defense technologies, but also how do we partner with Arizona in the long run to build back Ukraine? Lindy Smith, CEO of the Arizona Defense and Industry Coalition, worked in the late senator's office, and she visited Ukraine in June. Now they're showing what other Arizona institutions, like the University of Arizona, can offer in water, energy, medicine, and other fields with the help of Dr. Elliot Chu, Interim Senior Vice President of Research and Innovation. So if we can bring technology, we can bring our know-how and the strength of the, the, the people and the, fa the faculty here at the university to bear on these kinds of problems, I think we can come up with really interesting solutions to that. Ukraine, after we win the war, will be uh, advanced, modern, and beautiful. That's why Demidenko says the three things that grab his attention are setting up a medical system, assistance with science research, and education of the next generation of professionals, like doctors and engineers. And this can be done only in cooperation with people who are willing to uh, invest in Ukraine, willing to help Ukraine, and willing to work with Ukraine to make Ukraine better. Collaboration will likely begin soon enough that an update on their progress could be available in a matter of months. At the University of Arizona, J.D. Wallace, 13 News. And happening now.